property. But the thing is, the main thing is I want to press charges because he went against my uh, wishes that I asked it not to be moved. How, how long <clears throat> How long were you gone before they moved? One day. I was going back and forth every day to go check on it. And I have a witness, two witnesses actually, that had told me this. Okay, what 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 did the witnesses say? He said he um, when he seen me over at my friend's house, he said my RV was gone. He thought I'd moved out of town, and that shocked me because I had no clue it had been moved. Uh -huh. I was there just the day before getting some clothes out of it. My power had been cut off because I was I was late on bills, and she'd cut the power off. I understand all that. And when he told me that, I texted my dad and I told him that my RV had been moved. That I was going to go find out if there was anything illegal about it, if I could press charges on Miss Donna. He texted me and said, well, I made the decision to move it myself. Me and Miss Donna talked. They can't do that. That RV's in my name. I own it. And when they did that, that put me out on the streets. Can you show me those texts? Um, I don't have them on. I don't have that phone anymore. That phone actually got stolen from me. But I can show where I, she's got bill, uh, the bills showing that I was living there. I worked at Trifecta. I paid my own bills. I got behind a little bit. And How far behind did you get? I was about, probably about near, probably about 600. Two, to about two months worth of rent. Two months worth of rent? Yes, sir. And um, when I had texted him about it, he said that he moved it. I wasn't too happy with it. I, I didn't know. I, I didn't go about finding out. I wasn't in the right mindset at the moment either from some of the choices I was making out there on the streets. And I wasn't aware of the law of it being moved. What's your, what's your uh, lease agreement? Um... I, I have to get it from her. I don't even remember. I know that... Was it month to month? Was it six months? I don't remember. I, I do know that uh, the lady behind her, they tried to do that, and the officers came out there and told her she cannot touch that RV, that they have to get eviction notice. And then when I talked to the sergeant the other night, he said the same thing, that that was a, a felony by her moving. He thought she'd moved it. Then when I brought up my dad's name, his attitude completely switched. My dad was an officer for... 20 something years. He's pulled strings everywhere he's went. I have no idea who your dad is. I, I know I you don't. I don't I don't, I don't think you is. would. I'm just saying he's done that. I don't know who all he knows. I doubt he knows any of the officers okay. here. I just get paranoid most about it. Are, most of them are 35 years or younger than I still get paranoid years. about it. That's all that was. So if your dad says I'm a retired police officer, I can give a shit less. Okay. Uh, let's And uh, prior, before it, it had been moved by my dad, I had actually spoke with Miss Tana and told her that I would be willing to work on the RV campground to catch up what I owed her, uh -huh. even though I was still moving, just so I could square off with her. And she said that would be fine. She said to call her and tell her when to move the RV, that she won't touch it until then. And then she, I guess, I don't know what they determined how they did the next day, but they went ahead and moved it without my knowledge. Okay, so you told her that you would work? I told her I would, I would be willing to work, to work off what I owed her okay. on the money. 
and she agreed. She and she okay. said, yes, yeah, she'd be okay with that. She, she had to figure out what she would need me to do because she had a guy working, started working recently out there. But she would need a lot of work done during the summer. And that it wouldn't be moving until I called her. And I never contacted her the next day. And I was told, like I said, by a friend, they had rode by and seen that Marvy wasn't there. I'll get an officer, I'll get one of the uniform officers in here to do an information only uh, uh, IO at this point. I'm going to do a little bit more digging into it, uh, contact the DA's office and see it, make sure that all of our uh, T's are crossed and our I's are dotted uh, because we're running into the civil aspect of it. Because if, since you, you and her talked and talked about making an agreement about you working off what but it was never offer. agreed upon this this was just a suggestion that's how it was you, you made the offer and she agreed to it she and said if she can come up with the work i can take a lot of take a test and prove this every bit of it i, I understand that but, but we're not going to send you off to a, a lie detector test that's money we don't have to spend to do that. that's our i understand and i'm not trying to be rude but that's over two thousand dollars three thousand dollars worth of stuff that was stolen from me one way or another you'll get your stuff i don't back. mean this towards you I'm, up, I'm upset one way or another you'll get your stuff back it will either be criminally or civil but he broke the law with them understanding that by moving it he needs to be press charges and he needs to go to jail plain and simple he's done it to me plenty of times by moving your rv then mm -hmm. the landlord I didn't said give him permission be, to touch that it that would be something that would be a civil suit against the uh, property owner which would be your uh, landlord how, how is that if they... listen bro like I told you I'm gonna do some digging mm -hmm. make yes, sure sir. that we're gonna go about this the right way I'm not just gonna go in half cock because you say you want to press charges and go over there and arrest your dad okay because I'm not gonna look like an asshole on the stand I understand it that just, part I'm not gonna do it I will do some digging I'll talk to the district attorney's office and tell them what uh what the deal is and if you had those text messages and stuff like that, that would be a tremendous, tremendous piece of evidence. But you don't. You don't have them. I'm going to tell you. All right. All right. Let's get you in there and get a report done. I have one that I did that uh, two days ago that I wrote. You already um, did a report? I wrote one, but that all that a little bit of information wasn't in there because the sergeant was like, it, he was rushing me that night. He didn't want me to do it. He kept asking me not to do the report. I didn't understand why. Maybe I was blown out of what, proportion. What, what, and he what said kind of what you said about crossing the T's and, and making sure he talked to people, made sure things were before I wrote it down. Wrote a statement? A statement, yeah. Kind of like what you were saying, and I took it wrong, I think, because I was so ill. Okay, well, he, we got a statement. We still need to do a IO for him. Okay. We're going to do an information only, like I said, make sure everything's good, and uh, they'll get your phone number, and I'll call you tomorrow with some more updated information. So, yes, all right, come on this way. Set a seat right there, and I'll get one of these uh, nice ladies to get, get you an officer. All right. 